Okay, so here's what Mechalax sent with for their auxiliary couplers. They're the old ag style, well, old old ag style. They're they're the ag style coupling like you'd have on a tractor and implements. And then I wanted to go to the flat faced construction couplings that are on all skid loader attachments. So I wanted to change out what they have, uh, what I have on the machine. And in, in looking and doing some searching, I took me a couple days, but I figured out that this is a DIN thread, some a Deutz International Norm, something like that. Um, so but anyway, it's a metric thread. It's a it's a compression fitting, and it's the it's 24 millimeter by 1.5 thread. And this one is a metric O-ring, which is a 20 millimeter by 1.75 thread, and it's a little bit hard to come by. Um, so I couldn't find anybody local that had any anything like that. I went to the John the local John Deere dealer, and they had this thread in a hydraulic hose. So I went to RDO and the the construction side of John Deere. And they were able to make me up a hose that had this I din on on one. There's also in my studying I found out there's a din heavy duty and a light duty, and this is the heavy duty. It comes in different sizes. So they put I two female couplings on the machine. Um, generally, I like to see a female and a male on each side so that you can't get the lines crossed if you have. A, when you're running your equipment so that your switch always works the same direction. You don't have to go in and change it in the machine which they let you do. So I need red, I needed to take these off and I needed to replace them with flat faced connectors. And they have a half inch national pipe thread into here. So I needed adapters to go from the den to half inch national pipe thread. The last time I did this it made a mess so let's get us a little carton this time. So I hit RDO, he made me up the this piece that went from the DIN 24mm 1.5 to a half inch national pipe thread. And it was a lot longer than I wanted. It used to have this sitting right here. And now it's sitting down here at this at this long. And then my, my hoses when they come up went in. They bent around a lot further to get in. So. I wanted to shorten that. So I went online to hydraulicsdirect.com and they had the right fitting, at least they say. I'll try it out. And I'll see if I can leave a link in the description for these fittings if you want to change them out yours over. That, that looks great for that side, and it looks like a half inch national pipe thread, so looks like we're probably in business. Nice, I can't complain about that. It is what they said it was. I think they said it was good for 5,000 PSI and this is supposed to put out 4,000 PSI. So we should be good there. And 
then I was in TSC and I was looking at the flat face couplers and it was like 3,800 PSI. I don't remember if it's 3,800 or 3,200 PSI and this one's 5,000 PSI. So you can get different different uh, PSI rating flat face connectors. And if it's putting out 4,000 PSI, you're going to want to go with the, the stronger ones. Must have gotten it in pretty tight, it's warm. There's a little ball here, I wanted to make sure I get that facing up so that I can... So maybe on it facing out so that regardless of where the boom is I can see it and make sure this is spun correctly when you go to latch it in. So we have this length versus that length. This cost me $90 for the pair, and this cost me $45 for the pair, but it was $16 in shipping. So it was a whole lot cheaper for that, and that was what I ultimately wanted. I'll go ahead and hang on to these just in case I need them for some reason for something else, but hang on to them if I don't use them in two years, I'll throw them. And then I wasn't too picky on which side I put the male versus female uh, connector on because in the machine you can set them up to in your preset functions to have them switched so I didn't really care which side was what side I when I, on now my forks pre-programmed I, I have it set to forks and it's auto, it's automatically set to the right way I want it to go and also on the auger so it didn't make any difference to me which which way I, I put them on I got got the mail on the left side female and the right side from the from the operator's cab so we'll go with this for a while I can always switch them this this coupling actually switches out really fast this one's a little little tougher but this is a pretty easy fitting to change if you were to swap them you'd just I change them at that point Well, it doesn't look like my o-ring made it all alive. See, last time when I put these on, I had forgotten to tighten this one down. And I went to use it and it started leaking hydraulic fluid out. And I wonder, and then, it, and then I just went and tightened it up and I wonder if it, I didn't blow it out then and then I just tightened it against it and it smashed it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to put this on there without a gasket and see if it doesn't like because at this point i don't have an airing for it and if it doesn't leak i guess I might leave it i'm not sure what kind of which kind of airing it needs i'm I have to take the one off the other side to look at it and see what size it is. Hopefully it's not damaged. Wrong side. That side does not need Teflon tape.
I have a feeling I'm gonna wish I hadn't damaged that gasket. I kind of suspect it's gonna leak. But if that steel compression does its job, it might not even need the rubber. It might just be there as a fail safe and might be something that I can just get later on when I get around to it. Okay. They were actually pretty tight when I took those other ones off. They, I had to get after it pretty hard to get them loose. But. Okay, let's start it up and see how it sprays hydraulic fluid. Well, I don't see even so much as a drip, so that's good. It was worth a try. So now I can, I can call the dealer and ask if they have one, or I can go online and see if I can find my own. The dealer didn't get back to me on what thread that was, so I went and did my own research and found out. And in doing that, I'll probably remember better too, but... That is alright. So... That was the old link. Right there. And right there, so these were a little bit shorter, shorter connectors overall, but I, I like the flat face a lot better. They don't seem to leak as much hydraulic fluid, uh, actually barely even anything. Most of the time they only even drip when you disconnect them. These, when I've disconnected tractors, they seem to leak, leak a whole lot more. try this out and see how well I like it. I ran these up through so they go around the pivot really well. They don't see any wear, any rubbing wear on anything. Then I bring them right up through here and to their corresponding spots. But I've got to relieve the pressure out of these so that they'll so to relieve the pressure in the manual they say to, to do it, you turn the key on, activate, activate the, the le lever down by the seat, and then you have to have it on excavator mode, and then you can toggle the switch back and forth, it'll bleed the pressure back out of the system, and then they plug in. Okay. It didn't exactly like I was hoping because I was hoping that it would be great right here when it went in. Because this hydraulic actually comes down pretty tight to here. These actually roll roll back up in and lay in here when it comes tight. And this even a little longer yet. Running up through the middle like I like to before didn't work very well, so I'm gonna I run them one on each side. I had to slide the teeth back so so they could split and go one on either side. It ended up working fairly well for the backward side.
Okay, it looks like right up under here. Actually, it would work better. Let's try this again. And if this works, I should be able to put the sheath back in. Okay, it wants to go in right there. We'll put it in first. These Nipex pliers, I really like them. They work like a better than adjustable because they actually have really good over center leverage that I uh, gives you the the uh, grip of a wrench so that you're not stripping your fittings out. It's even better than an adjustable wrench. It's more like a wrench only with the flexibility being better than adjustable. And adjustable, you have to pull off and go back on. These you can just let them open and swivel back around to get the next bite. But they get such a good hold that's as good as a wrench. And let's see, it's gonna go this way. That actually looks really nice. I might be able to leave these angled fittings now. I was thinking I was going to need straights coming up, but like this, I can pull this back up, protect these hoses a little bit. I don't know how that got done. It gouged a little of the outside rubber off, but maybe like that. Okay, now let's give that a, a whirl and see how well that flexes. See how it takes the joint. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. I like that. 